The Cameroon Development Corporation, CDC, continues to suffer the heat of the ongoing Anglophon crisis, with not less than 26 workers who have lost their lives already and several others kidnapped, molested and highly wounded, losing parts of their bodies. The case of Mondoni was considered the bloodiest as several lives were claimed. The 11th of February 2023 incident was also not left out. Recently, on Friday the 23rd of June 2023, some 11 CDC workers were kidnapped from from their Edinau Scorpio and Rofus CDC camp, some three kilometers away from the B camp. Those kidnapped include patients, nurses, pastors, amongst others. They were taken away by some gunmen, allegedly identified as separatist fighters who came from Jan Division through the Bomboko Forest area, close to the bushes and plantations of Edinau. This comes after same Edinau camp had experienced similar process May 19, 2022, where some 19 workers were kidnapped as at today out of the 11 cdc workers kidnapped on friday 23rd june 2023 some were released especially patients while others managed to escape four persons are still left in captivity amongst the four are one nurse one widow the daughter of a cdc overseer and the wife of a cdc headman the cdc worker continues to question what has the war, secessionist war, what has it got to do with our plantation work? These are workers that are being old people. But these are workers who have decided to co-own their company. And they sell it in this manner. Let's note with all these attacks on the CDC, the production of the company has drastically been affected, thus hampering on the economy of the state of Cameroon. Also, some workers of the CDC have gone for about 36 months without salaries, with the company owing about 50 billion silver francs as debt. All these has affected the morals of these CDC workers who have not given up on the company. On their part, the CDC administrators, including the Cameroon government, now struggle to pay workers according to what the company makes from the few estates still functioning like the Dibuncha, Ednau, Tiko, Bota Estate amongst others. The revenue that CDC was making from the same volume of production dropped tremendous. We moved from revenue from sales to the tune of about 80 billion francs to 55, 58, 50. I'm very, very encouraged by the fact that the state has given us the assurance that the improved security that we require shall provide. Thus, being the second employer after the state of Cameroon, it is feared that the Cameroon Development Corporation may only regain its place once again when the ongoing Anglophone crisis will be totally put to an end.